Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is the Wally Man here uh, on YouTube. I got a little product review from Slow Fuse Gaming. I bought a couple of things from them um, this past week. And I thought shipping and handling and everything, I thought it was going to be, you know, Monday, Tuesday before I got this. I ordered it on Thursday, and they showed up at the, at the uh, door Saturday. So really fast shipping. I think they're from Arizona. There's the website and everything. Check them out on uh, Twitch. Uh, there's YouTube and everything else. But the one product review I got here are these little glass agitators. Um, I've, where I go and game at, uh, Dice Games and Comics in Cleveland, Tennessee, they, uh, this guy there, the manager, uh, he was telling me about them. And uh, you can also check him out on Dicehead.com or Bloodbeard. Uh, on Twitch, uh, you can also uh, should have a link through uh, Dicehead and uh, through that. But this, he was telling me about these little glass uh, agitators, and what you do is you would stick them in your either Army Painter, uh, let me see if I have, yeah, and or Vallejo Model Color or Model Air um, dropper bottles. You can also put them in uh, your tones and your um, metallics too. And if you've ever used a rattle can, um, so I can pull these little bitty, little bitty things. Um, you put two, at least two of them inside your dropper bottle. And if you've ever, like I said, used a um, rattle can and you shake it up, that noise that you hear of the uh, ball bearings or the metal balls that are inside the rattle can, it shakes up your, um, pretty much your aerosol can, spray paint, whatever. Uh, what I have here is army painter and another army painter one of them has the agitators in it and the other one doesn't i will be putting the agitator in the other one too but uh you can listen okay, let me share that was the one yeah you can barely hear any paint being mixed and that and then this one you can really hear the paint mixed and so i can find one that has a, an agitator in it that there you go. You can really hear the sound. You know, there, um, this paint is really thick, but this is a flesh tone with the agitators in it. And you can really hear it that way. Uh, the, the thicker your paint is, the less you're really gonna hear the agitators in there. But uh, I don't really think I've seen a review or product review of uh, these agitators on YouTube, but to put them in, after you get them, just kind of like wiggle the top off, just like that. Uh, grab you two agitators. Okay, just grab you two agitators and kind of just drop them in there. And then put the uh, tab back on. It'll look like like that and then push down because the paint will come back up make sure it oh, see paint comes right back up because of the air that's inside of it wipe that off put the lid back on and let's see if we can hear the agitators no real thick paint yeah it they end up shaking, colliding. The more uh, the more you use it, the more you'll hear the agitators go off. But uh, yeah, I have done all of my dropper bottles, tones, and metallics that are in dropper bottles with the Slow Fuse Gaming agitators. And I got to say, I mean, I actually like them because uh, they can mix the paint up from the bottom uh, once you get down in there and once the... Um, um, once it starts mixing in the mixing the paint halfway through the bottle, um, you end up getting a better flow out of the bottle. That's what I, I saw. I can see it, and they're not that expensive. You can get fifty, I think, for a dollar. I think they were like a dollar twenty-five, maybe a dollar fifty around that range. Um, just go ahead and go with a two-pack. It's like less than four bucks. Um, I'm not using them in any of the GW pots. But I would say they would probably work 
and any of the thinners, which actually, the thin medium, I'm probably going to put it in there because there's all that paint down here at the bottom and then you have a mixture of the liquid in there. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a couple in these. Now the glosses, uh, let's see what we got here. Gloss varnish. I wouldn't put it in the gloss varnish because it's pretty much like a water base. It goes straight to the bottom. You know, there's really nothing, see, there's really nothing left of that. You're not going to use a lot of this anyway. Gloss varnish, matte varnish. I mean, if you do, if you want to put them in there, you can. But the mix and medium, I would suggest to put those in there because they, the, the, there is paint down at the bottom that mixes in with the, uh, the liquids that are in it. If I can get that last one out. So I don't want to pour the whole entire thing into my little base that I'm using. Because you can lose these very easily. So you better have something to put them in or you're going to be reaching in there and grabbing two at a time every single time. So just grab you like a good 32 mil base or 40 mil base or even a base that uh, you're using for your bike guys or any of that stuff. And same thing, just grab the top off the bottle. Oh, you kind of didn't get to see me do that, but uh, just grab the top off the bottle. Drop you in two of them. Put the top back on. Seal it up and you're good to go. And then shake her up. There it is. And then all the paint at the bottom is already started mixing through. You can actually barely see it like right in there. Like it's already started separating because of the agitators. And then this one here, I mean, I haven't put the agitator in it, but you can see that there's, if you can really see that or not. Yeah, you can still see paint and all that. The, the heavy medium that's inside of there. So go ahead and change that and add that to it too. Shake her up. Yeah, I was saying the uh, less you have in a bottle, the more rattle you'll get out of it. <laughs> oh yeah. See look there. Pretty much gone. I mean there's some spots up there that's still there, but it was cleaner than, than it was before I used them. So yeah, I would uh, highly suggest using these. And they're really cheap. Like I said, you get you a 50 pack for about a dollar something, and then this was a hundred, and I did all of my bottles over here. Here, all of my bottles over here, and of course, I've got models over here to the left, and models, you know, everywhere. But that's uh, the paint was over there. And all of them have the Slow Fuse Gaming uh, glass agitators. Uh, you can go to their website right here, slowfusegaming.com. Uh, you can also watch them on Twitch. Uh, anyway, that's the way, man. Peace out.